Hello everyone, welcome to my Luminar Neo technical build video. As you can see, we're in the different corner of my office today and we're actually at my editing desk. This is where all the cursing happens, basically. It's such I'm going, Jesus, Kieran, what were you thinking? What were you doing? Why did you use that setting? Anyway, talking about Luminar Neo, um, this is my review of the technical build. I am the last person out there to post a video on this and the reason being is I wanted to spend a lot of time playing with this because as soon as I got the software, I downloaded it immediately. Thank you very much, Skylum. And I was actually really disappointed when I got the technical build. Um, I was hoping for the beta version first, and that didn't arrive. I got the technical build, and I was left very underwhelmed, I suppose is, is the word I'd used. Um, I had a few problems. I was presuming this was going to work like Luminar AI, and Luminar 4, and just straight out of the box, I was going to say, oh my god, wow. Now, I've read a good few reviews, I have seen a good few videos, and everyone is raving about it that I've seen so far, about the uh, possibilities and how well it works, and that wasn't my experience. So, that's the reason why I didn't post anything. But I'm going to show you now exactly the issues and the problems I had, and why I was wrong. Um, well, I, I was I was kind of wrong, I suppose, for a few different reasons. Firstly, this is not the finished product. This is going to get better. This is just a technical build to show you roughly how it works. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing, faster speed, they're talking about doubling the speed of the processing and this in comparison to Luminar AI, which is going to be brilliant too as well. And um, yeah, let's just get into it and I'll show you exactly the problems I had. So we're going to start with the photographs that just didn't work for one reason or another. So let me show you my problem with Luminar Neo. And when I say I have a problem with Luminar Neo, I genuinely do mean I had a problem with Luminar Neo. I got the technical build, downloaded it, popped it on, fired on a few photographs and was left totally disappointed. The other thing is, you know, this has not been performance enhanced. This is not the final build. This is just a technical build just to show you how the software is going to work. The layout of the software is going to be completely different. The user interface and everything else is probably going to change. So don't take any of this as being the finished article. So let's just start with where, where I started from. So I was thinking power line removal. Cool, that's going to be a really handy feature. So I thought, look, this photograph, power lines, perfect. Went up here to edit. And over here, you've got a few different options. Click on erase and go down here to remove power lines. And as I say, there's only different options because this is not the finished article. It's only to show you three different features, remove power lines, remove dust spots, and relight AI. So if I click on remove power lines, and I was thinking, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be, what the? <laughs> that, that's where the beep kicked in there now. I was thinking like, what? Like, Nah, that can't be right. No, I, I'm going to try another photograph. So I went back and I thought, right, no, the next one I can try. Oh, picture here, model, and what, what you call it, the, the lines and everything in the background there now. This is going to be really cool. So I'm going to go up here, going to click on erase, remove power lines, and this is going to do an absolutely... Right, what's going on here? It... <laughs> the last two photographs, it didn't work. It clearly didn't work, right? It's as simple as that. So, okay, bear with me. Don't anyone go anywhere as of yet because we're not finished. So I thought, right, for the hell of it, look at this. <laughs> I thought, okay, <laughs> do, your, do your worst, Luminar Neo. <laughs> I'm going to push this, going to push this one out now and see what happens. So we're going to go up here and remove power lines and it's probably going to do nothing, right? That's what I was thinking. Now, again, let me emphasize, this is not a finished product. There are going to be improvements on the software and there are going to, it's going to be faster too as well. So this is quite slow. This is a technical build. This is not the finalized product. But dear God, look, 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 at, look at what happened here. If I go on the little eyedropper here now and click on that. So that's the before, that's the after. Before and after, before and after, before and after, before and after. Now, is it perfect? Dear God, no, it's not. But that just saved me like 15, 20 minutes removing a wagon. No, you still need to clean all these up and you can do it, but 
quite easily just going over here and then clicking on erase and that's going to erase that section or it should anyway there you go and then you can do the same thing here and here and here now should you have to do it no you shouldn't but did you see how the photograph looked before we started <laughs> you could, could, do you know that's like ah, God, that's just nuts but you're kind of going wow so that does work okay so remove power lines does work we're coming back to this because i just want to show you how this started for me so don't anyone go anywhere as of yet this is not my final version so the next thing i did is and i actually don't have the photograph here so i'm just going to look for it so give me one second okay so the next photograph i had was this one now this is a demo image sent out by skylam out to me so it's kind of going right they showed the before and after image so it's kind of going okay I'm going to bring this in, I'm going to edit it, I'm going to click on edit, I'm going to click on erase, and I'm going to click on remove dust spots, and it's going to do an amazing job. And I was left with that, and I was kind of going, oh my god, look at all these other dust spots around the place. It removes some of them, but Jesus, like, there's a lot of work left in that, that's not right. So I thought, what the hell happens here now? That's not good enough. So I thought, okay, alright, okay, that's, that's a slight bit of a disaster, so... We're, we're going to go back here now and we're going to try real light AI. So I went in here, clicked on this image, went to edit. I went over here to real light AI and I was thinking, okay, what's going to happen here now is the brightness near and far are here. Your depth slider is here. So I'm going to increase the brightness nearby. Slid this up and I was going, that's basically like someone just put in a grad. Do you know, it, it, it just, <laughs> I'm going like, what? <laughs> just brighten the bottom portion of the image. That's not, that's, that's, that's not working. Why? Why, why would you, you, di you like, you, you adjust the brightness far away, and this is also adjusting, but that's not far away, that's the same depth as our feet, which is also adjusting here. What, what the hell is going on here, Skylum? That just doesn't make sense. And I was thinking, I, I, I can't post something about this, because I wouldn't buy it. I just wouldn't buy it. Everything I've tried so far, just didn't work. So I've tried to remove dust spots, I've tried to remove power lines, and I've tried real light AI. And they all didn't work. So I was kind of going, okay, thought, God, you know, I'd better do a bit of research on this and have a look on the internet. And everyone else is raving about it. And I was thinking, what the hell? What <laughs> what, am, what am I doing wrong? What what's is is the software faulty? So I tried another computer, download it again, tried another computer, still the same problem. Tried another computer, still the same problem. So I thought, Jesus. It must be me. It must be the way I'm using it. So I thought, okay, screw this. Real world conditions. I'm going to go back and I'm going to try this all over again. So I thought, right, the first thing I do was dust spot removal. I'm going to feckin' try this thing here now. So, so I went to this image. If it'll open for me there now, so you can quite see there's some stubborn dust and dirt on this. That was actually in the lens. We shot at f16, so it really showed up. It was an old lens. I was trying to see how well it still worked. And you can quite clearly see there was quite a bit of dust inside in the lens. So I thought, look, perfect image for that. Absolutely perfect image for it. So I clicked on edit, went over here to erase, and I went down to remove dust spots. And I was thinking, this is going to be the same stupid thing as the last time. And Jesus Christ, what had just happened there? That just, that just removed all the dust spots. Bar one, there's one still there. So I clicked on that, clicked on erase. Done. And I was thinking, okay, okay, this, this, hold off, we can, we can work with this. So I went to this one, another one again, and I said, dust spots, dust spots, and there's another one, oh, there, and there, and here, so I thought, right, let's try it. Edit, erase, remove dust spots, and is it going to work? Jesus, they're gone. All right, Kieran, um, so the, the real world examples are working. So this one here now again, dust spots here, here here um here there's one down below here and one here so edit again erase remove dust spots and they're gone and you're kind of going so remove dust spots works real world examples work that's cool so i thought to myself okay i need to go back and i need to check the <laughs> power line removal so again you look look for a real world example which is this one so i thought right lovely view pity about the power lines so edit 
go down here to erase and then remove power lines. And I was thinking this probably isn't going to work. Click the button, waited and boom, they're gone. Are they completely gone? No, they're not. You still have these little bits here. So I just click on that and click on erase. Now bear in mind, this is the technical build. This is not the finalized version of Lunar Neo. So I thought, okay, that looks good now. Then I was thinking, do you know, I'm just, I'm just going to try this. I'm going to get rid of the pole here. And I'm going to get rid of this pole. And I'm going to get rid of this pole. And I'm going to get rid of this pole. And for the crack, I'm just going to see how well that works. And dear God, that is absolutely brilliant. That really, really did work incredibly well. So if I go down to the little eye symbol down below here, you can see before and after, before and after. So five stars, guys. You know, not perfect, not perfect. It didn't remove all the power lines, but again, this is not the finished version. Back to catalog then again, I said, okay, Relight AI, I'm going to pick this photograph. Try this here now and see, and this is going to be a good example. So I go to Edit, go to Relight, and I'm going to adjust the brightness near. Boom. Look at that. I'm going to adjust the depth. You can see it coming forward and then going back. Brightness far. Wow. Then you can go down adjust the warmth nearby so I can warm up the image a small little bit and cool down the background a small bit if I want to balance it out a small bit more and kind of going wow. So before, after, before, after. And you're thinking, okay, that that works. Try another one. So again, edit. Go to relight and go brightness near. That's working. And then adjust the depth. Yeah, there now, let's say. And then adjust brightness far. I can bring that up or I can bring that down. And you're thinking, wow. And again, I can balance out my light a small bit too as well. So I up the warm a small bit nearby and bring down far a small little bit and go before, after, before, after. So <laughs> yeah, um, Luminar Neo, I was wrong. I was wrong and I was dead right that I didn't actually post a video on this saying it just doesn't work. And it, it's, I have a massive amount of faith in the Skylum team and even when talking to them they're saying there's going to be more improvements and, and just knowing what they try and do because I know I know they're really trying incredibly hard with the software. I just know it like, and you're just kind of going, that, that works. That really does work. Now, the power line, is it, is it ever going to edit power lines out of this image? Um, if I can open the image, like say that shot or this shot, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I can only presume it's going to get better. With the likes of this shot, it's always going to be difficult. With that shot, I thought it would be straightforward. Just go up to edit, erase, and you go down to remove power lines. And give it a second, and bang, they're gone. But it doesn't get rid of them. So, I'm looking forward to the beta version. That's going to be coming out super, super soon. So, I can't say any more about that. As soon as I get the, the, the beta version, the actual proper working version, I'm going to be releasing another video on it. So... Sorry for the delay, and for everyone who's reached out and asked me about it, and my thoughts on it, and has been emailing me for the last week or two, apologies for not um, for not doing a video and for not doing a small but better research into it. But look, the reality being is, if I don't thoroughly believe in something, I won't promote it, and it, that that really and truly is the way. And that's why I didn't post a video on this. I was going to post a video, and I had one written out, scripted, and everything else, and I was going to slate it. Being completely honest, I was going to slate it. But I was thinking, right, this this aspect doesn't work, right? Obviously, the power lines in this image doesn't work, and the power lines in the, the shallow depth of field image didn't work. But in a lot of the other images, it did. And as I say, it's not the finished version. So it's going to get faster. It's going to get better. There's going to be numerous improvements. So... I can see this being really good. Just being being straight up and honest, I can see this being really, really good. 
it's off to a great start. And as I say, I'm delighted I didn't post anything negative about it. And um, I'll always be honest with you. And as I said there a while ago, I'll only ever promote products I believe in. So if you hear me saying, I really like this, or I would buy it myself, then I genuinely do mean it. So I um, just want to say thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fancy jazz. And um, I'll be posting the new one fairly soon on the beta version or the media pack version. So um, see you out there. And thanks again for watching.